Welcome to Crypto Explained, the easiest way to educate yourself in a ride around the blockchain. Here we try to explain crypto topics as simply as possible so everyone can understand. In this video, I'll go over all the steps you need to know on how to buy and stake HEX. If you haven't watched the previous video where I explain what the hell HEX is and how it works, I really recommend you do this first so you fully understand what you're getting into. No financial advice on this channel though, just gathering all the facts so my lazy friends don't have to. I'll explain three different options on how to buy HEX so you can decide for yourself what suits you best. The centralized way, the easiest way, the safest way. But do feel free to use the timestamps below to skip ahead. Most new crypto investors will start by using a centralized exchange, or in short, SEX. In these types of crypto banks, like FTX and Binance, you can easily deposit your fiat and start trading it for crypto. It's easy to use apps make it really accessible for beginners to take their first steps into the crypto world. The only thing that's a little time consuming is the KYC, which stands for Know Your Customer. If you use a centralized exchange, you're required to provide your identity and bank details. But after that, trading becomes child's play. In a few clicks, you easily deposit your fiat. Then a few moments later, you can start buying your first cryptocurrency. The downside, though, is the lack of variety of cryptocurrencies they offer. You can buy Ethereum and Bitcoin on every platform, of course, but it's a little bit harder to find an exchange where you can buy a relatively younger token like Hex. You'll have to check its availability on a website like CoinMarketCap. At the moment, it's only traded on a few centralized exchanges, but I'll post the link below in case this changes by the time you're watching this video. Another thing you have to be aware of is that by using this method, the real owner of the purchased crypto is the bank itself. They oversee all transactions and withdrawals and decide whether to approve it or not. Normally, that's nothing to be concerned about, but in times of crisis, war, and bankruptcies, there's been some cases where platforms completely freeze your account. There's a saying in crypto, not your keys, not your coins. Personally, I'd rather have 100% control over my crypto assets. If this isn't the case for you, great, maybe we already found the right option for you. But wait, just one more detail. I already mentioned this in my previous video. Hex is a fully decentralized application without any middlemen. To be able to use the DAP, you have to own the keys to your Hex tokens, which isn't the case if you use a centralized exchange. To alter the previous quote, you could say, no keys, no stakes. So you won't be able to stake, meaning you'll miss out on the thing it's been designed for. But don't get me wrong, 90% of the hex supply hasn't been staked, so there's no shame in choosing this route. People who are staking won't necessarily be unhappy about being part of the minority who are receiving a part of the token's inflation. This brings us to the methods meant for those who not only want to buy HEX, but want to earn passive income at the same time by staking. The easiest way to do this by far is by using the Staker app. This means installing an app after which you are guided through the simple process step by step on the app itself, just like the app of a centralized exchange with the difference that you won't have to provide your ID information. You can download the app using the link in the description. Yes, this is indeed a referral link, so you would be helping the channel out. Of course, it's also an option to go directly to the App Store instead. Once the app is installed, you don't have to do any KYC, but you do have to provide your Google or Apple ID. The app uses a software wallet with a one-time only price tag of $9.99. In contrast to a centralized exchange, this does give you access to your own crypto on the blockchain. You'll be provided with 24 words, which will only appear once. Don't take a screenshot of these words for security purposes. Write them down manually and store it in a safe place. Nobody can touch your crypto without these private keys. But on the other hand, nobody will be able to help you if you lose them not even the developers of the Staker app.
You are fully responsible for your own crypto. You hold your own keys. When you have created your wallet, there are two ways to buy HEX. You can either do this directly on the app itself. In this case, you'll have to buy Ethereum and swap it for HEX. This is easy and fast, but you'll have to be aware of the buying rate you'll get and the transaction costs that come along with it. In most cases, you'll be better off taking a detour. If you want the cheapest route, you can buy Ethereum on a centralized exchange and simply send it to your wallet on the Staker app where you can swap it for HEX. Just go to your Staker app wallet, click on Deposit, and copy the address. Once you've purchased Ethereum on a centralized exchange, you go to Withdraw and you paste this address. Do be careful though, this is an Ethereum address, so you'll have to use the Ethereum network to send it. If you don't, that Ethereum will be lost forever. There's no turning back. If you were able to get your HEX in your smart wallet safely, you can start staking. One of the greatest benefits of this app is that you can make multiple stakes in one single transaction. This way, you are able to save on gas fees while creating your ideal staking ladder. The Staker app seems like the easiest way to stake your HEX and lets you follow up on your stakes in an easy to use application. It even has some cool features like the Staker League and highlights of the past 24 hours for those interested. Another way to stake HEX is by using a decentralized exchange or a DEX. Just like the Staker app, you'll need to own a wallet and be in possession of your own keys to access that wallet. The biggest advantage here is that besides a software wallet, you can add extra security by using a hardware wallet. If you compare it to the Staker app, this route looks far more complicated at first, but after this video, you'll see that it's easier than you think. The first step, where you have to buy a hardware wallet, is completely optional. You can choose to skip this step and go to the second one where you have to install a software wallet. The first thing you should know is that a hardware wallet and a software wallet actually do the same thing. They generate a seed phrase giving you access to your crypto. These coins aren't stored on the wallet itself, but these wallets do give you access to the coins on the blockchain. The big difference between the two is that a software wallet reveals your seed phrase on a screen connected to the internet. The seed phrase generated on the hardware wallet itself is not. So it's just a question of what you're comfortable with and what lets you sleep like a baby. Both of them are safe, but one of them can only be exposed to traditional criminals, while the other can be exposed to cyber criminals as well. If you decide to use the extra security, you can order a Ledger Nano S for around $60. It looks just like a USB stick with two buttons that offers you a choice between a seed phrase of 12 words or 24 words. You'll be guided through the process on the Ledger itself, after which you can easily connect it with the Ledger Live software to complete the configuration. Lots of tutorials online that guide you through this process in detail. I'll place a link below for those interested. Hardware wallet or not, in both cases, we'll be installing a software wallet as well. In this video, we use MetaMask. In contrast to the Staker app, this software wallet is completely free. You can either choose to use it on a cell phone application or a browser extension on your PC. In both cases, you go to metamask.io to download. Preferably, use the browser extension if you're combining it with the hardware wallet. When installing, you have to create a wallet, after which a seed phrase of 12 words will be shown to you. To emphasize again, don't photograph these words. Take the time to write them down manually and secure them in a safe place. If you're using the hardware wallet, you can now connect it with your MetaMask wallet. In this case, you'll have two accounts, the software wallet from MetaMask, which will only be used as a dummy wallet, and the second, the hardware wallet that you connected. We are only using the MetaMask software to gain access to your crypto with your hardware wallet. If your computer gets hacked, they will only be able to access your empty MetaMask account. They won't be able to touch your crypto secured by your hardware wallet. The keys to this wallet are safe. Every transaction made will need your approval entering a PIN code on the device itself. 
You'll find more extensive info about this in the same link below. After this part, you can go and buy Hex in the same way as you can with Staker App. Go and buy Ethereum on a centralized exchange and use the withdrawal function to send it to your Ethereum address. You can easily copy this address in MetaMask and paste it in the exchange. Once your Ethereum has arrived in your wallet, you can go and swap it on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. Just go to ethhex.com, connect your wallet, and enter the amount you would like to swap. Bear in mind that you need some Ethereum to cover the gas fees for these transactions and for signing your staking contracts. Ethereum gas fees can be expensive. That's why many hexagons are longing for Pulse Chain. If this all seems a bit much, you can always take a shortcut. There's an option to buy Hex and directly receive it on your wallet. You won't need a centralized exchange to make the purchase. In this case, you go to buy.hex.com, fill in your Ethereum address, and choose your payment method. Easy and fast, but bear in mind that this comes with extra costs. The longer route is at least worth considering. If you were able to get this far, you can now stake your hex on go.hex.com slash stake. Connect your wallet to the site, enter the amount you want to stake, and select the length you want to lock it up for. A clear overview of the bonuses will be shown on the screen, and along with this, the amount of hex that will be calculated into T-shares. If you don't fully understand how this is calculated, I recommend going back to my previous video on Hex before going any further. Anyway, the only thing left to do now is to hit the stake button and confirm the transaction. The progress of your stakes can be viewed on the same page in a basic overview. Though if you want the advanced overview that Staker App is offering, that is a possibility. There's an option in the app to enter any Ethereum wallet address. You won't be able to stake through the app with this wallet, but you can view the progress with all its features. I know it looks hard at first, but it's just like riding a bike. There's always a choice to skip some steps. But keep in mind, the longest route is not only the safest one, it's also the cheapest one. Let's recap and make a summary of your options to get a better view. But first, if you found this video interesting and helpful so far, let me know by liking and subscribing. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and answering any of your questions. I'm curious what route you guys prefer and if you already made any stakes. But okay, the summary. Using a centralized exchange, you have to go through KYC and provide them with your ID. After that, it's a smooth, easy to use application and it's usually quite cheap. They're in full control of your assets, so obviously they offer support. But this also means that you don't own the keys to your coins. Sadly, there's a limited supply of cryptocurrencies being offered on these exchanges. Smaller tokens like HEX aren't being offered on many of them. And in my opinion, the largest deal breaker, there's no way to use the staking contracts. Moving to the Staker app, where a software wallet is being used. It's also a smooth, easy-to-use application, and in combination with the SEX, you're also able to get the best rate. They don't offer support as you, yourself, are responsible for the keys to your crypto. It's an app specifically designed for HEX, so the only currencies available are HEX, Ethereum, and USDC. It's by far the easiest way to stake your HEX, and it also gives you the ability to make a staking ladder in one transaction. As your stakes progress, there are advanced stats and features that you can easily consult daily. When going the decentralized route, we use a free software wallet, MetaMask. The biggest advantage here is the ability to secure your crypto with the hardware wallet. It requires more research to get familiarized with, but I suppose this is just the price you pay for decentralization. If you want the best rate though, you can withdraw Ethereum from a centralized exchange. There's no support as you own the keys to your crypto. Unlike the Staker app, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies available. For this story though, we only need HEX which you're able to stake on the official website. There are some basic stats available, but if you want, you can insert your Ethereum address in the Staker app to enjoy all its features. 
I hope this gave you enough information to make a decision on what route to choose. Do let me know whatever that route may be. Feel free to use the timestamps below to go back to the parts you want. I added a step-by-step -step guide with useful links in the description, but fire away with whatever questions you still have. Let me know if this video helped you out and know that there's a whole hexagon community on social media willing to answer all your questions about crypto in general. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.